if the Lisa Autoclave comes up with an error message of presser A32, the first thing to check is the door gasket. But I already checked the door gasket and it's still good. So this thing has to create a vacuum to negative 7.2 psi in four minutes. And so the vacuum pump was going and it was sucking the vacuum, but not fast enough so it threw a fault. So I took apart the unit and here's the vacuum pump. So each of these membranes, one of them was bad. There was a tear in it. So they have a rebuild kit. So you unscrew it. Well, you take out these four bolts right here. I already did it on the other side. And then you unscrew the membrane. Then you take out this, this little, this is some kind of, I don't know what this is called, but they give you a new one in the kit. So you take this out and then you put a new one on. So this is, this is a new little felt pad. We'll stick this in and then we're going to screw in the new one. It just screws right in. This went a lot better than when I did it the first time on the other side. Okay, and then you got to make sure that the margins are nice, but then they're all about margins, so that shouldn't be a problem. See, now all the margins are good in there. Then you got to reassemble, but first you got to put a new O-ring and then this little diaphragm in here. So you pop out this clip, and then this little tiny membrane comes out, and then the O-ring comes out. And it's okay because it, it's bad. We're going to replace it. So then you put your new membrane in. I don't know if that's, that's called a membrane or not, but that's what we're putting in. And then sometimes getting the snap ring in is hard part. Okay, that one went in not too bad. Then we we'll put on our new O-ring and reassemble. But before, we got to put the, the middle piece on. Piece has the same thing. You got, you got to do the O-ring and the clip and the diaphragm. Now I'm going to look for my clip do on the vent top. So we'll put in our new membrane and put the clip back in. I spent a while doing this on the trial run, trying to see what's the best way to get it in. I think the best way is, is to put the open end in first and then just push with your finger. But for some reason, it takes longer when you're on film. Camera, I was struggling quite a bit, but I got the, the clip in and you put the new O-ring on. And then you just reassemble like this, so the O-ring's got to go opposite a non-O-ring part. And then we can just put the, the screws in and reassemble. Last thing to do is to reinsert these rubber components. They've got kind of a lip on both sides, so you gotta finesse them in there. And if you can't finesse them, then just get aggressive with them.
I think the A01 was the door code. I mean about the the cover being off. Oh well, we'll let it see.